Tara Bites. I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios, and today I'm going to be reacting to Davina Michelle for the very first time. To be quite honest, I have never heard her voice before. You guys have been asking me to react to this one in particular. This is Pink cover, uh, What About Us? And let's just get to it. Here we go. Hi, everyone. I'm Davina, and this is my new cover. We are so Lights we can see in the dark. Wow, okay, we're vibing. We are rockets pointed up at the stars. Amazing vocal intonation and timbre. Beautiful. We are billions of beautiful hearts. Woo! Love that breathiness in there. And you sold us down the river too far. Texture, that's the main thing that points out to me right now, texture. What about us? Us? What about all the times you said you had the answers? Ooh, girlfriend. What about us? What about all the broken happy ever afters? Anybody got some popcorn? Okay, I'm gonna point out a couple things for you guys who they're like, you're like, oh man, she sounds like she's feeling it so much and, and it sounds so emotive and you're like, I don't know how I do that or what she's doing to make herself sound like that. Let's just review this last part, these last three lines and I'm gonna break it down for you. What about trust? What about us? Okay, we're gonna go back a little farther. There's two main things that she's doing in these three lines to make it sound like that, okay? She's going, hua, hua. So there's an H-U-W-A. Hua, both times. What about love? What about trust? Okay, those two things. And then when she goes, what about us? About us? So if you do it in slow-mo, don't, you're not gonna be crazy. Just close the door, you'll be fine. You're your Aunt May won't mind too much, or sing in a pillow if you want to. I used to do that in New York when I had no space and no privacy. So, what about love? What about trust? And then she doesn't do it here. She just goes straight into the tone. What about us? So she goes to the diphthong on ooh and adds a cry and then opens it back up again. What about into tone again? Ooh, Does that make sense? So don't be scared. All that is, is uh, uh, you're just adding that and sandwiching it in between pure tone. Uh, 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 I mean, it's super annoying sounding when you practice it, but that's what she's doing there. Let's listen again so that now you can hear. What about love? What about trust? What about us? Yep. Now, you have two choices. She, she, I kind of, I kind of like the, the cry. She did a mixture, now that I'm listening back again. She, she really kind of did more of a, what about, about, which is really a, a change, a quick change between your chest voice and your head voice. About us. So you can either do, about us, or, about us. Either way, you're still creating this cry, this emotive experience within the transfer of words there, about and us, okay? So practice it at home. These are all little nuancy things though that you, as a listener, you hear and you love, but without it being broken down, you really don't know what they're doing or how to do it yourself. And so then you're just stuck being like, oh, they sound so great and I wish I did too. You, you can too. Do that. Here we go. Sticks and stones, they may break these bones, but then I'll be ready. ready. Are you ready? Love that it's the start of us waking up. Come on, are you ready? Yes, I'll be ready. I don't want control, I want to let go. Mm -hmm. I'll be ready. Nice. What about all the times you said you had the answers? 
I would also like to point out that she's not doing an H on had there. There's a reason why. This is what it sound like if you did. What about all the times you said you had the answers? It's so like choppy and clumsy. That's why sometimes H's are great. Like, what about us? Using those H's there. But in this instance, this is why you gotta learn how to sing smarter, not harder. She's using her vocal discernment here. It needs to be a legato, bouncy, coming from the top down to the bottom sound. What about all the times you said you had the answers? So I'm not using that H as a, as a stumbling block for my sound there. I'm actually just omitting it, singing through that consonant into more of the A and letting my voice, voice bounce more legato downward. Okay, here we go. So what about us? Love that growl there. What about all the broken happy ever after? Beautiful, yes. Searchlights we can see in the dark. Ooh, I love how she ended Thank that. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I see you next week. Yeah, that was really, really great. So again, I'll say it again as I started with it. The thing that, that rings true to me in Hammer's home, my initial reaction to her is, if I could put it into one word, is just texture. Her vocal texture is very interesting. It's very pleasing to the ear and it makes me want to just kind of like lean in a little bit, tune in a little bit to what she's singing and pay closer attention just because it's an interesting texture. And sometimes that's innate. You know, you can learn how to texturize your voice in certain places and stylize it. But there are voices, I, I believe like hers and like, um, for instance, like Adele's, uh, voices like that, that are, they're just innately textured and they don't have to try for it. And then there's, there are others where, you know, depending also on your training, uh, if you're classically trained or you're, you're trained to sing musical theater, um, you have that more clear as a bell pointed forward type of sound, which also has a purpose. So if you don't have this, don't think you're less than. There are differences in us for a reason. And if we all sounded like that, it would no longer sound like texture. It would sound just normal. So uh, it's beautiful though, and it's very interesting to me. And I think it's perfect. She chose a perfect song because Pink has that same kind of texture characteristic in her voice as Davina does uh, in hers, which was which makes it a perfect uh, pairing. And I liked her rendition of this, you know, covers, I was just doing a masterclass today actually, and I was saying the same thing to them and I'll say it to you guys. Cover songs should have a rule to it. At, at least at my studio, if you're a student of mine or if you take uh, any of my courses, the rule is this. When you cover a song, you either need to do the melodic line, true to the melodic line better than the singer who originated it, or different. But don't just do exactly the same thing that the singer who originated it did. That That's silly. That It's already existing somewhere out there. Why would you just imitate it? And most likely it's not going to sound as good because that's theirs. They, they breathe life into that themselves. Breathe life into it a different way. Don't be afraid of changing the melodic line, holding out a note longer than it's supposed to. Maybe even changing up the rhythmical pattern of a certain part of a, of a chorus if you've done it a couple times already and set up the structure. There's so many things that you could do. You could take a fast song and make it slow. You could take a fully produced song and make it just acoustic with piano and strings, or just strings, or just a cappella and do some cool harmonies behind it. The list goes on and on. The point is, don't feel pressure to imitate someone else just because they set a certain standard. Create your own standard. The, the voice that you've been given is only strictly yours, so make that the best it can be. And if you don't know how to make it the best you can be, and if you're searching on YouTube and trying and failing to do it on your own, let me or my coaches at Tara Simon Studios help you. There is a link for private sessions in the description box. Go ahead and click on that or visit tarasimonstudios.com. Check us out. We coach all over the world globally, and we would love to help you on your vocal journey go from maybe something that I only sing in the shower or in my car to some place where I might be able to even audition for something and have hope to get it and maybe get it. We hear success stories like that from all over the world from our students and it makes us so proud. So we hope that you join us on your vocal journey. Let us help you. We would love that. We love you, by the way, and we're proud of you. Thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for being the best part of my channel. And with that, guys, I'll see you on the next one.